think most of you know Andrew, who's working his way here. Um, I hope I'm not stealing part of what he's saying, but then he's got a few minutes to speak. Andrew was an MP in uh, South Africa under Mandela's uh, uh, government when, he, when Mandela was president. Um, and he's now in Keir Starmer's constituency. So amazingly, he's still standing. Andrew. I'm not even going to try and lift this higher. It's so seldom that a microphone is actually low for me. I'm going to luxuriate in it. Um, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me. It's such a pleasure to be here. And it really is an enormous honor, given the sorts of people you've had messages from, given the caliber of the performances that, that we've seen and heard today, it, I, I feel even smaller than usual, at least in time. Um, while you were dancing to this wonderful music, I recorded a video. And I asked the organization to consider, and of course, all of you would need to be consulted, whether that video, even just a few seconds of it, could be put up on social media, in which you all say, these are the very dangerous <laughs> old people, Jews. Keir Starmer is suspending, investigating, and expelling from the Labour Party in order to combat anti-Semitism. <laughs> now, I really think we should, because the absurdity of the situation, I do not know how we can communicate to people about the total insanity of the situation we find ourselves in. So let's put it in the context of my country. And believe me, I would so much rather be in Cape Town than in London. <laughs> I woke up this morning to a photograph from my sister from her lounge window over beautiful, sunny, blue skies and sea. That's a form of torture, right? <laughs> so, what Keir Starmer, as we have so kindly mentioned, my constituency MP, is doing would be the same as a politician expelling Black South Africans from their organization in order to fight racism. Not sure that would have worked too well. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, sitting back, listening, looking, and I see myself surrounded by brave, honest people who can not only dance, they not only have an incredible sense of humor and a remarkable skill for magic, but who are good people with integrity, doing incredibly important work. And there has never been a more important time to be doing what you are doing. And I'm going to paraphrase Barack Obama, who before he became president, he was actually quite a good guy. <laughs> you said something along the lines of, and this really reflects our current moment. It is terrifying when we consider the smallness of our politics and politicians by comparison to the enormity of the challenges we all face. Now, unless you have a thing for slick back hair and very expensive suits, both our Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition are charisma-free <laughs> they have no understanding, no understanding of the impact that their views, their opinions, their policies, and their actions 
have on other people. Even worse, they do, guys. I don't think they do. I think that one thing David Owen got right as a medical doctor and a sometime politician is that to get to the top in politics and corporate life, unfortunately, one has to be fairly sociopathic. Because if they honestly know and they continue to do this stuff, then they're not sociopaths, they're psychopaths. And that's even more disturbing. So never before has your work been so important. And when I see the way that you are treated, which is why I think the video is so important, I think back to apartheid South Africa. So I know that's a sense of work to another lot of you, but it still applies in one or two cases. And I think back to what it was like for white South Africans who threw in their lot with the ANC, who so obviously represented the will of the vast majority of South Africans who didn't have the vote. We were called traitors. Mm -hmm. We were called, well, I was gonna say the N word, but in South Africa, as Richard and a couple of others would know, it's the K word. Yeah. K lovers. Traitors to our community, haters of our country, and of course, self hating. <laughs> because no true attack takes place without a bit of shitty pop psychology thrown in. You know, most of us who sit here, who have been investigated, some of us obviously still are being investigated, who have been suspended or who have been expelled. Most of the time, it's been as a consequence of some usually non-Jewish person sitting in some remote part of this country, going through our social media posting, and I have a bit of an addiction to Twitter. So the person who reported me sitting somewhere in Wales, who is non-Jewish, had to go through literally millions and millions of tweets, which I mean, I just pity them, to be quite honest. <laughs> but these are the people who are deciding whether you and me are good Jews or good people. And I don't know about you, but I have had enough. And every single time Somebody attacks a progressive anti-racist Jew. I, and I hope you, will stand up and shout even louder. Because that is what we have to do. The world desperately, desperately requires good, honest people with integrity. And it is not in spite of the fact that we are Jews, that we fight for equality, for justice, for all. It is because we are Jews. And I sit here this afternoon and I see the very best of Judaism. You as a group represent the very best of Jewish history. Not just the shit magic, not just the shit humor, which is such a part of our history. <laughs> but it's it, the deep, visceral desire for freedom, for justice, and equality. So, as Jews, let us go forward louder, stronger, and more determined than ever. Happy birthday.